Ah, yes. We're back with more Terranel. Now our beautiful little planet is being terraformed pretty well. We have 75 or 70 percent completion in the tundra and the flooded city biomes, but we only have 58 percent back here in the river valley. So I figured I'd head back to this world and, you know, quickly terraform it properly. Get that 100 percent modifier since I pretty much know what I'm doing now in the game. We can just quickly put in a few of these, make the planet nice and unpolluted. Throw in some water to pump up. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful right there. And you know the drill. We need to put these irrigators next to the unpolluted land so we can start terraforming it and get this up to 100%. So doing a little bit of that will take me to 100%. Oh, 99. Okay, but if I do a little bit of that, it'll take me to 100%. Cool. That's awesome. All right, we restored the ecosystem and now our objective is to create the diversity, the biomes here. And we can do that very easily with the hydroponiums, but I don't think we have access to that. But we can put the beehives in the tree hives and create uh, like forested areas. Yeah, and by forest, I totally don't mean forest, but I can get a research center. We're gonna get that wildflower bloom happening. Give me a few more trees in here though. All right, we totally have enough Finn boy, Finn boss. Fin I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that word. And we do need to create the wetlands as well, as well as the arboretum. So we have to do a forest fire. And we do need to create some wetlands. Come on, you didn't create the wetlands. Well, we do need to increase the relative humidity of this area. So we'll do that a little bit. Probably do want to do a calcifier over here so I can get some more rocks in too. We pop in a rock, then we can get a few more of these. So we can do such as that, and then we'll do a little flip de whoop de around there. Fill up that zone, and fill in this zone. Ooh, fungi in the forest. Fungi. <laughs> it's not the right word. <laughs> Fun guy. We'll fill in a little bit more water, and then slap this in to create that beautiful wetland creation. Nice. That's looking good. Also, let's calcify this water up right here. I don't really want to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I really just need one of these right here. And then if we put one of those right here, I can drop one of these in there, and then we can do one of these things right like so, and create a mega, mega wetland. Come here, little wetland. It's ideal. That's perfect. We need to make more wetland. We need our wetland to be wetlandier. So we'll drop in an excavator, right like so, and it'll go boom. There it is. All right, that's fine with me, because then we'll do a wetland maker this way, and it'll do the same thing in the opposite direction. And then we should be able to pop one of these in and fill the rest of that up with H to the O, and then throw in a calcifier back over here to create more areas for these, and then we can slap in more of these to Get this rest of this area all nice and detoxified. Is that a right word? Is detoxified a word? I don't really know. I'm not an expert in brain learning things. This used to be an engineer, actually. But there it is. Okay, cool. So we got a bunch more area going great. Let's put in another wetland maker. Excellent. We might need one more here, too. This is a thirsty wetland maker land. All right. We'll do that one, too. Okay, we got all of everything. Good. All right, the wetlands are completed. Now we need to make the forest, and the forest is the arboretum where we can do that with firing things. And by firing, I mean totally burninating the countryside. We could use our inner trogdor here. I feel like we're gonna have to burn this area, and that's gonna create a big old forest fire. There you go, buddy. Burninate. Burninate. It's actually exactly what I wanted. We're doing all the burninate here. Beautiful. And then we can throw in one of these hydroponiums on, what did it go on? Oh no, not the hydroponium. We need one of these. And these go on here. Just like such as. Great. We'll do another one over here. And plus 60, that's a big number. I can count that high. We'll do another one over here and... Oh, balls. We lost the Finba. Do I have another tree somewhere that I can use? Yes. Beautiful! Oh, I did it. That's awesome. Woo! All right, now it's like, hey, you need to make plants and animals and junk. But before I do that, I'd like to get that rain to begin. So let's uh, continue putting in a few of the cloud cedars. Too close to another one. All right, we'll do one here, 18%. Hot dang. All right, we need to keep on rolling with it. All right, another 6%. That's going to put us at 76. Another one. Uh, that didn't do much. We'll do 4% here. 
cool. All right, that's 80. We need it a little bit higher. Okay, we have the water lilies. Ooh, the rains are beginning. Oh, we don't have the salmon run yet. We have to be 100% completion here. Oh, 87%, one more. Uno mas, por favor. 88, do I have any remaining? There's another four, 92%, yes! The rain's beginning, we're detoxifying the rest of the land and it's looking very beautiful. So we'll grab in uh, an animal observatory. We'll put in this somewhere and then we'll start scanning for the creatures. Now we did find some of the creatures in the past, like the deer, I mean, we could just scan. There's definitely deer up here, good. And then there's F froggies and the froggies are probably right in here. Good, and then there's bears, which need to be on a high plateau zone. I mean, it could be in here. Yeah, kind of. In range of a beehive, because that's what bears do. All right. I don't have, I have the, the thing. Can I just search from top here? No, weird. I don't have high levels in this map. I literally can't get bears, but I've got them before, so that's fine. Rodan builds home near a forest near a river. I mean, that's obviously this area, and that would be a beaver. Cool, we have beavers, and now a predator prowls a forest near a source of prey. And the source of prey would probably be the beavers, so... Okay, we have that, but we need the prey. Hmm, the deer? Could the deer be the prey? I kinda doubt it. Hey, I got fox! Oh, those are wolves! Okay, cool! So, this one's the last one, and it just takes water tiles. It just, as, as I was saying, it just takes water tiles. Really? In a lake. I don't actually have a lake here. Maybe this area? Hey, there we go. So we have the Suwannee boys. So this is weird. All right, but well, we, we do have access to that. So we have all of the animals unlocked. We have all of the things unlocked here, which is great. That's exactly what we needed. We needed uh, to speed run this. So now I need to remove the rest of the creatures. And by creatures, I totally mean all of the other things. We'll build a little boat next to the thingamabob, and then we'll just tell it to go remove all this garbage. Okay, right through the tunnel. Okay, we'll grab these. I can't actually see what's here. Oh, that thing's in the way. So if I do a little bit of that, it should remove it. And then I can use a picky-uppy thing, and another picky-uppy thing. And then I might need to use one of these right about here. And I hope that grabs it nicely, it does. And then it'll come back and it'll grab this one nicely. And we can put one up here. We got all of those. We can put one. Ooh, that barely reaches. Can I put one here? Okay, we'll get one of those. We'll grab all of those things from the high area, put in a ladder right here, throw in one of these things right like that, and then, ooh, those are good. And then that one's good. And those should be good. And then this one's good. And that should be everything now, except for this one across the way. And as we're getting the last things, the rain is purifying the world, and we will have 100% in this zone. Except for that bears, because, well, literally, I couldn't get bears. Oh, maybe I can, though. Hold up. Beehives. It takes area up top. This might, it might actually work. No, I, it doesn't work, because I literally can't get the height. There is no way I can make that work in this map. Weird. Well, regardless, I've hit that 100% mark. We're bringing it back in, and we should be able to lift off into the next zone. There we go. Good job, little helicopter droney boy. I don't know, like, would that actually physically work as, as like, a machine? A five-bladed helicopter? I don't think it would. It might. I don't know. I'm not an expert in aerodynamic weird things. But this is gonna take us to the next biome that we also have to hit 100% in. Come on, hit that 70, hit the 70, hit the 70, please. Thank you, to the next zone. The Desolate Island. All right, so you remember this one. This one was the one with the beaches and stuff. We're gonna do the same thing. Detox the planet properly. Place down an insane amount of terraforming devices to get us more greenery so we can afford better things. We'll also make a few sand islands over here that I can place other buildings on so I can properly make the ocean a better place. That looks really good. I wanna do another big ocean spot like up here, so we'll just mineralize it. We will sand castle it. That's actually a really bad spot for a sandcastle, but I can put like two in, so I'm cool with that. There it is, 101%, mission complete. Well, not quite. Next step is to create that biodiversity like we did last time. And we do have some unique things to use. 
First things first, the hydroponium to create some beautiful wetland like we had just done in the last area. And we do need to increase our uh, temperature so we can properly grow things. So let's do that with a burninator. We're gonna burninate that. Nice, <laughs> you were just gonna burninate everything. Burninate the countryside. Yes, and another one. Migratory birds have returned. Good, thank you birds for coming back. You believe in me. And then we will make this green spot again. We'll make this green spot again. Probably. Please work? Okay, the latarium works, so we can turn this area into a nice beautiful beach. And another one over here. Another nice beautiful beach. They're ideal conditions, that's great. We need one more beach. Let's do, I don't want that one a beach. Let's spread this out a little bit. Let's do this a beach. That's only a plus two. Not what I wanted. How about this area? Plus 26. Why is that plus two and that's plus 26? I don't know. But I can salinate this ocean now, or this little grassy area, and this should turn it into a mangrove forest. Nice, it did. I just need to do that a few dozen more times. And I believe this, oh, it's already ready. Okay, cool. So next up is the coral reef. And we have to get the coral reef. There's a good area here for that. Let's start with some monorails. Ooh, that looks like a good spot for a monorail. We have to get these monorails next to the water and we can do that using mineralizers too. I'm hoping that's enough range. Might be, we can do a mineralizer here. And we can connect the monorail this way. Very good. So I need that coral reef and what did it collect? Oh, just like coral polyps, there's nothing special. And we grab it and we throw it into the water. A plus 19, that's gonna be a cool little biome. I might wanna turn, let's actually, here's an idea. If we make the rain begin, the thunderstorms, wow. All right, so we need temperature way up to 35 degrees Celsius and humidity way up too. I think we're gonna do that first. Wow, humidity to 99%, we're going for it. It's cloud seed, that's a plus 13, I like that. We have a plus 10 there. Another plus 15 there. Come on, right over here, and another plus 10. That's 93%. Gonna make so many humans here. 100%, good. Now we need that temperature up to 35. Wow. All right, plus four. 35 is actually pretty hot. We're gonna burn the desert. <laughs> Crabs populate the beaches. And then we burn the crabs on the beaches. I say that out loud. It's one of those things you're not supposed to say out loud. I literally can't find anywhere else to do this. So let's uh, create some more terrain here. I almost feel bad for these plants. It's like, I'm gonna grow you for the exact purpose of burning you. Goodbye, little plants. Okay, we're at 25. We need to go to 35. So we'll regrow the plants and then we'll reburn the plants. Hey, we got 28. This is hard to burn everything. Not gonna lie. Plus another four, that takes us up to 32. Ooh, coconut palms, nice. I just need three more degrees, little game. It's not how it works, but 1%. <laughs> we can do 1% at a time. I just need one more degree. That should be it. Two more degrees. Yes, thunderstorms begin. Okay, so that's gonna purify the rest of this planet up. Did I get all of the optionals? Uh, dragonflies, temperature over 40. Uh-oh, moss on rocks, under 10. Uh-oh, <laughs> can I make it colder? I can't. All right, put me up to 40. Did I get my grasshoppers? Or my grasshopper, dragonflies. No. Nope. Oh, why does it have to be? That has to be greater than 40, not at 40. Ooh, okay, I can do this. I have the technology in my brain. One right there. Uh, this might actually be in the range still. Yep. Dragonflies, ooh. I hear the thunderstorm happening. Yes, is it raining? Is it clearing the rest of my area? There it goes, there's that rain. All right, as it's raining, let's finish up with our whole idea of the coral here. Coral. Come on, link it together. Very good. I think I just really wanna just put it, like literally just right, really? Grab that one, put it right, oh, right over here. Good. I mean, that kind of works too. Just put the coral right here and just collect it from here and just drop it right over here. Nice. Okay, this should work well. I have another coral collector here and I can get one here. I don't know if that's what I really want, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We can do another one over here. I know that's not huge, but I'll take a little bit percentage. Okay, good. It's 
That should spread a little, hopefully. I've used up literally every single rock thing around, which is really annoying. I don't want to build any more, so I guess I'll just build some more. And then I can grab a few of these from over here. It's invalid. Of course it is. Just right on the edge. So annoying. All right, buddy. You go in there, and then we'll put you way over here, probably. I'll do the same thing to you and to you. I feel like I can put this... Oh, boy. 59? Oh, that's so close to being enough. But I should be able to build another monorail over here then. And we can just use this to collect that. And just place it in the water for a plus 30. Is that going to get me the 100? It did. Okay, cool. So now we have that boreal forest I need. Which is kind of the hard one. Actually, it's not so bad. We just place a couple of these things in and the game's like, Hey, I love what you've done with the place. I hope. Oh yeah, plus 23. It's ideal, because it's literally, like, blazing. Good. Look at all that coming in. That's beautiful. Another 27. We'll just, like, coat the world with it. Another 10. Another 8. We can do a nice one up here for another 0. And a positive 15. One more. Uno mas por favor. Negative 6. That's fine. I'm just losing some greenery on it. Very good. Come on, game. Give it to me. There it is. Oh, no, I lost some mangroves. Poop nuggets. All right, whatever. We'll put in a mangrove forest up here. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That was a big one. All right, now we need the animals. Now, we've had tortoises, which was literally just beach and water. Not enough water. Island. Okay. Does it have to be an island beach? I mean, I can make that happen. I'm good at destroying environments. Let's do this quickly, though. Let's rip these apart. I have to rebuild this thing again. Can I build it over here? No, we'll build it right here. And then that has to be collected by monorail, right? Yes. So I'll do that, and then I'll place one of these back. And I'll place one of these back. And then we will turn this into a sandcastle. That's the wrong button. That should rip it apart anyway. I can build a toxin scrubber. And then build one of these things on it. Oh, and of course, this doesn't have a... A thingy my bob at it. Delete those resources. Thank you. Is that gonna be enough? Island. Hey, we got it. Okay, we got turtles. Alright. Undiscovered. Estuaries and coral reefs. So. Alright, so we need something else. Hey, there we go. This manta ray. We got it. What's next? The parrot? I'm guessing parrot is inside the jungle. No buildings in range. Alright. Right here, then. You're a picky feller, aren't you? Hey, we got flamingos on the beach. That's cool. We have sharks in the water. I'm hoping. We've already unlocked that one, though. So, mangrove tiles and the sharks. All right, that should be it. Nope. There we go. We got sharks. Now we should have ocean deep water. Yep, we got whales. So, the only thing we don't have is the parrots now. This also bothers me. Our temperature is too high. And I can't drop the temp down. So let's start removing things, and then we should be able to get the parrot. So let's see if we can get that parrot now. Right over here. Oh, did I delete the parrot building? Of course I did. Come on, parrot. You're right here. Yay, we have all the animals. We've unlocked literally every one in the game now, which is awesome. And now all we need to do is uh, re-get all of our buildings back. That wasn't right words, but you know what I meant. Go, little monorails. Do your work. Hehehe. <laughs> Delete all of your little pylons. Everything's looking great. Everything's looking great. We're restoring the environment, and everything's looking great. Whee! I'm hoping I did this right, though, so it should be just a cascade, and all of everything gets recycled. Yep, there it comes. And then we'll just work this back to the base. That's kind of annoying. This one's out of the range. So I have to build one more monorail and then work backwards this way again. All right, game. Here's that point where you make that little chevron so I know which one's good. Everything's down here. I did it right. There it is. 100%. We've done it. We've done it. 100, 100, 100%. Shoot. 69%. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, look at this. Look at the birds. They're doing so well. The flamingos are flying over. That is a really cool area. Like, that was the goal today is to create every single thunderstorm we could to, uh, like, restore the environment. The wasteland has been reclaimed. Now, game, you have to. You actually have to give me the 70%. Please, 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 please. Yes. Okay. We just, we just won't talk about that there's one left in there. 
But now, my friends, we can go and do these other things like the polluted fjord, the irradiated sprawl, the abandoned quarry, and the archipelago, which is one of my favorite words to say. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd like to thank this month's channel members and Patreon supporters, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippius, Destructo Man, General Harris, Trent M, Joe B, Cordino, Zarna, Maxer, Rao, BC Engineer, Whip It Good, Sakarzmarex, Spencer T, Whiskey, Splatter Sacks, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Corian, Rob the King, Bread, 8830, Dalton C, Avora, Sicanity, Grayson, Monkey, Kyle V, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Plays, Dredge Hoarder, Gun Jam, and Jonas DC.